Oh, that coffee sure hits the spot. So the other day I was reading this article from this blogger that I read, read his website, and he said that what he was going to do was start taking all the articles he'd written and then, or had wrote all the articles he had wrote or written or however you say that. And he was going to start reading them and turning them into podcasts, which is exactly what I do. Like, I don't ad-lib very often because I get nervous and then I have a lot of pauses and I have a lot of ah, uh, ahs in them. So one of the ladies or a lady commented and said that what she would do instead was just talk about the article and not read it verbatim. Because then it wouldn't feel, uh, see, I just did an ah. Uh, it wouldn't feel scripted. It wouldn't feel stale. It would feel like more like a conversation and less like that he was just giving a speech. And I kind of agree with that. And then I kind of don't. Because uh, when, when I write things, generally what I do is I have an idea. Something's kind of murmuring around in my head. And then I pull out my phone and I have it start dictating whatever thoughts I'm having. Like a stream of conscious kind of thing. And then I go back to my computer and I pull that big long dictation up and then I polish it and rewrite parts and just make it sound better, you know, cover all the points that I want to cover. Um, and that works because I, I feel like then I get everything out that I want to say. Um, and there's not a lot of ums in it. Uh, but I'm sure that me doing my podcast, it can feel scripted. It can feel like I'm giving uh, a speech where I'm not doing that ad lib kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if, if I'll ever do that. Something I'm keeping in the back of my mind for sure, though. All right, almost ready. Okay, on with the show. So this is something I wrote back in February 2019, February 03, 2019. When I was news, wait, scratch that. TCR Diaries for February 3rd, 2019. When I was newly sober, having a list of amends to make was like having a big pile of bills to pay. And I hate that feeling. A stack of checks to write and a list of people and places I owe. It's just always on my mind. Lingering in the back row, it's just always on my mind. Lingering in the back row like somebody murmuring behind you at the movies. When I stopped drinking, my conscience woke up and I started hearing the voices of remorse. And then there was that one time when I was in high school that I stole a whole bunch of books from the public library. It was way back when shoplifting was easy. Go in with a nearly empty backpack, Load it up with Hobbit Adventures and walk out. Just be careful and it was really that easy. 
I didn't feel any guilt at the time because for whatever reason, in my head, the world owed me. And then sometime later, when writing my eight-step list, my sponsor and I came up with a dollar amount that I owed, that I owed them based on how many books I stole. That particular library, that particular public library was in a different state, so I wrote them a check and stuffed it in an envelope along with a letter saying, I stole some books from you, from you guys several years ago, and here's a check that I hope is compensation. Or something like that. It was short and sweet because the best amends are. If I get wordy, I tend to want to justify, and my goal was to pay the money back. In the days after mailing the letter, I was kind of nervous because I didn't know if I'd have charges pressed against me or I'd go to jail or whatever. When I put myself out into the unknown, I never know what's going to happen. My mind goes to all kinds of silly places and because I'm, a, and because I'm me, I assume jail was in my future for most of my amends. But I never heard back from the library folk. They just cashed the check a couple of weeks later and I got on with my life. Another bill off the list and another mess cleaned up. And that's how I made all of my amends, as I could when I was able. Wrote the checks, paid the debts, one by one. There's no pillow as soft as a clear conscience. When I go to sleep now, if anything, I can always be grateful for not having amends to make that I know of. I've settled my books as best I can. And it feels good being able to walk into that library now with a clear conscience. That I have nothing to feel bad about. That, I, that I, I'm putting my best self out there instead of being a selfish jerk, helping myself to whatever I can. When I was drinking, I hurt a lot of people and did a lot of bad things. If you're an alcoholic or no one, you know how it goes. I wasn't unique in the things I did, just par for the alcoholic course. And it's no wonder the way it's and it's no wonder I drank the way I did based on all the wrongdoings I had done. All the garbage I had piled on top of my soul, I hated looking myself in the mirror. That that caused all that pain. Standing in front of the sink was my least favorite place to be. After making my amends, I was finally I was finally set free from that burden. Finally set free from my past. Fully able to live in the present. I don't know if you've ever been to jail, but being released, walking out that door, feeling the fresh air all around, knowing last night is behind you, well, that's what making amends is like. It's a fresh start and a new day ahead. No police, no handcuffs, no fear, and no looking back. Sentence served and restitutions made. And now when I look in the mirror, I generally only see these long eyebrows that I should pluck. That's all I got. Thanks for letting me share. gentle like before.